Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today I'll be reviewing another obscured low budget film for you folks. Yes, it's cheaply made of course. And again, it's on my to-do list. Yes, sorry folks. Still have a truck ton of these to review, but whatever, yes. So let me see here. Okay. The Limping Man is the film I'll be reviewing today, folks. Again, it's going to be something from my, the Nifty 50 packs I have it here. It contains 50 movies from the 1950s. So, that's the name of the packet. So, The Limping Man is the one I'll be reviewing, folks. And, and, of course, as usual, I have to talk about the damn plot because you know it's what I do so anyway let's just say the film focus upon this former soldier named Frank whom arrives in London to visit a wartime girlfriend whom he hasn't seen in six years so to speak and this to say that his planes landing at the airport and uh, let's just say it um uh happens with a fellow passenger being killed by a sniper so to speak so there was this um other individual and the detective are assigned to investigate what happened really the dead man had been identified of course and it has been carrying uh something you know, some sort of documents as well as a photograph that led them to uh, an actress, so to speak. Let's just say some things do happen that become rather interesting, as we'd say. Yes, sir. So, I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to, you know, spoil the story, obviously. I can say that this one is worth watching, folks. It is. Just surreal. I didn't mind it really that it wasn't like super fast paced or anything. I know nowadays people may consider this as too slow because a lot of people nowadays just want you know explosions happening like every five fucking seconds. But none of that here, folks. None of that here. I don't mind it really because this film is clearly not meant to be like a super action packed movie. So, because of that, that might turn some people off. Which, if you ask me, it's a bit of a shame. Because this movie is actually pretty good. I like the characters, of course. The characters themselves are definitely well portrayed, if you ask me. I did like how they were, you know, being introduced into the story. The way they were carried out through the story is pretty consistent. On what they were aiming for anyway but it's such a shame that movies like this get shoved get shoved over under the rug so to speak because I like this film a lot a lot more than a lot of the movies coming out nowadays it's a hell of a lot better so it kind of makes me wonder what the hell happened they don't make them like they used to I know I've said that multiple times before and that's definitely the case here so another thing is that yes it's old people may dismiss this film just you know based on the fact that it is old yes it's cheaply made and again because of that people might just dismiss it so yes the production value isn't super super high yes it's in it's in black and white but personally speaking i like the fact that it's in black and white it helps it to give its own charm but I don't know, maybe it has something to do with the fact that I've seen lots of black and white movies ever since way back when, I guess. But anyway, I personally enjoyed it. I'll give it a thumbs up for me, folks. If you have not seen this film, I'll say check it out. This film is available on a single disc DVD, so you don't necessarily have to see it in this set. I mean, you could. You could buy the set anyway. I'm not dis I was not disappointed by it. I've seen a lot of movies from this set or so forth. I'm trying to review each one. Yeah, each single, each one I've 
It's when I swatch, I try to, you know, review it as fast as I can, of course. I've seen quite a few of these already, and I try to, you know, like I said, I try to review as, as many as I can. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I don't want to review all of them, at least, at least not, um, you know, not back to back. I will review, I will probably, I'll try, I guess. I will try to review these movies along with some others. I probably try to, you know, like I said, I try to review as many of these as I can, I guess. Because I try to get these out the way. But, I guess I'm kind of having like a little marathon in some ways. I probably would review some other movies while I'm at it, I guess, but whatever. I guess for the time being, I will review some of these movies. And I don't plan to review all, of them, all these movies at once, but i stick with, uh, with those I watch for now, I guess. So anyway, and I can say that the acting is pretty good. Like I was saying, the, the actors and actresses were doing a pretty good job with what they were doing in, in this one. So, anyway, that's well done. I can say that the editing itself was pretty solid as well. I like the editing here. So... Yeah, there's not much they can do with the editing, I guess, because, like I said, there's not uh, much they can do because the, the budget is pretty tiny. The budget is pretty damn tiny. So, anyway, I kind of watched this again one of these days because I was pretty pleased with this film. Yeah, it's not super long, but that's fine. Uh, it's fairly short compared to movies nowadays. I know movies nowadays are about, like, two hours or some minutes or three hours or whatever yeah movies like a, movies are becoming long longer nowadays hmm. and I mean I guess that's gonna be a bad thing if it was good but anyway sometimes keeping it shorter is better is all I'm saying so anyway if you've not checked this one out yet I say give it a shot folks because it's a pretty damn good movie so I can say that this film, it does get an overall rating of a 7.2 out of 10. It gets a 7.2 out of 10 from me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, oh yeah. See ya.